This is part three of the Bagot installation instructions where I'm going to demonstrate how to configure the Java Home environment variable. Note that to be able to configure the Java Home environment variable, you will need administrator rights on your computer. This will be relevant in the case for users who choose to install Bagot on a drive other than the C drive that they have right access to without the need for administrator access. However, you will still need administrator access to configure the Java Home environment variable. So please contact your IT support representative for insistence in completing the step if you don't have administrator access on your computer. Let's first take a look at how you would configure the Java Home environmental variable before we configure it on my computer. To get started, what you're going to do is select the My Computer icon on your desktop. And then what you're going to do is press the right mouse button to display the right mouse menu. And on the right mouse menu, you're going to select the Properties option. This will display the System Properties window. In the System Properties window, you're going to select the Advanced tab. And over on the right of the screen, we are looking at the Advanced tab. And within the Advanced tab window, you're going to select the Environment Variables button that you see down at the bottom of the screen. In the Environment Variables window, you're going to want to scroll through the list of system variables that you see at the bottom of the window. The variables are arranged alphabetically, so you're just going to want to scroll down through the list to see if a Java Home environment variable is set. If you do not see a Java Home environment variable, you're going to want to create a new variable. So you do this by selecting the New button. This will pop up a dialog box that allows you to enter the name, which will be Java underscore home, all uppercase, and the value that you want to assign to that variable, which in my case is going to be C colon backslash program space files backslash Java backslash JRE6. How did I know that this was the value that I wanted to set this variable to? Well, what it's going to be dependent on is the directory where the Java runtime environment got installed on your computer which in my case, you see in the lower right-hand corner, I've given you a little screenshot of my directory structure to show you the Java Runtime Environment Installation Directory. And the key part about assigning this variable is you want to point it to the directory where you see the bin folder, as you see in the lower right-hand corner. After filling in the variable name and the variable value, you will select OK to enter the new system variable. Then we will return back to our environment variables window and we want to scroll through the list of system variables one more time and in this case we now see that the java underscore home environment variable is set. Once you've got it set you can go ahead and hit OK to close this window and that completes the configuration of the java home environment variable. So let's now switch over to my computer to see how we would do this. So here we are once again looking at my computer screen. And to get started with configuring the Java Home Environmental Variable, I want to find the My Computer icon on my desktop, which I see down here in the lower left-hand corner. Now I'm going to select my right mouse button, which pops up a menu. And from this menu, I'm going to select the Properties, which is going to allow me to display the properties on my computer. In the System Properties window, I am now going to select the Advanced tab. And in the Advanced tab, I'm going to go down to the bottom of the screen and select the Environment Variables button. This displays the Environment Variables window. And to see all of our system variables, we scroll through the list that we see at the bottom of our screen here. And as I mentioned, they are arranged alphabetically, and as we look through the alphabet here, we notice that there is no Java underscore home environment variable defined. So what I want to do is create a new environmental variable. So to create the Java home environment variable, I'm going to select the new button that we see down at the bottom of the screen here. And I'm going to enter the Java underscore home as the name of the variable that I want to define. Now, identifying the variable value may take a little bit of detective work. What we need to know is where the Java runtime environment was installed on our computer. So we actually took a look at that in the installation portion of the Java runtime environment. And how we saw that was by selecting the Start button, going out to our Settings, Control Panel, and I have my Java item in my Control Panel listing. I double click on that. To bring up the Java control panel, I go to the Java tab here, 
and on the Java Runtime Environment Settings screen, I'm going to select the View button to view my Java Runtime Environment Settings. And when I introduced this in the Installation section, I mentioned that this Path attribute was going to be important and of interest when we go to set our Java underscore Home environmental variable. And we see that the JRE has been installed to the Program Files Java JRE6 directory. And when we set the Java underscore home environmental variable, we want to set it to this folder that is just above the bin directory. So what I'm going to do is cancel out of this. I've jotted down this directory path. So let's take a look at the folders for the Java Runtime Environment. So I'm going to double click on my computer to open it up and what I want to do is navigate down into the C drive and into the Program Files folder and into the Java folder and into the JRE6 folder. And here's where you see the bin directory. And the important thing about setting the Java underscore home environmental variable is you want to set it to the folder that is just above this bin directory. So to set my variable value, I need to give it the entire path, including the drive designation, so it is going to be C colon backslash program space files, don't forget that space, backslash Java backslash JRE6. And that will identify where programs referencing the Java Runtime Environment should look to find the Java Runtime Environment program files. So I'm going to click the OK button. And as we go back and look in our system variables list here, we see that the Java underscore home environmental variable has now been set. And to complete the task, I go ahead and select OK to close my environment variables window. And then I select the OK to close my system properties window. And that concludes the configuration of the Java underscore home environment variable. Now that I've configured my Java underscore home environment variable through the computer properties, what I want to do now is just go out to a DOS command window and verify that that environment variable is accessible. So how I open up a DOS command window is by selecting the Start button in the lower left hand corner and the Run option. This is going to bring up a window that allows me to enter the name of a program that I want to run. In this case, I'm going to run the CMD command program which will open up a DOS command window for me. And now that I have the DOS command window open, I can type in the SET command, the set command, and this is going to give a listing for me of all the environment variables that are configured on my computer and for my computer session here. And as we saw in the system variables, it provides an alphabetized listing of all the environment variables, and I can just use the scroll bar over here on the right to scroll up through the list. And as I scroll up through the list here, I see that I have the Java underscore home environment variable set, and it's assigned to the C colon backslash program files backslash Java backslash JRE6. So this is the last confirmation step that we want to run to complete the installation and configuration of the Java Runtime Environment. And I can just type in exit to close this command window. And with the setup of the Java underscore home environment variable, that completes the installation and configuration of the Java Runtime Environment. So what we are going to switch over to now is the installation of the Bagot program.